Ah, uh, yes, sir. Eric Lima here. You watch my YouTube show, which my sentimental thoughts come from my heart. Also, my mental oddball shenanigans come from my brain. It's EML77 TV, episode 619. What is going on, everybody? I hope everyone is having a great and wonderful day. And last time I talked about baby steps being taken by our Massachusetts governor to reopen up the economy here. And, um,. Towards the end of this month, I'll probably be back at work, and I know there's going to be a lot of changes, so I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, refer to mass.gov slash reopening, and you'll get your information from there. If I try to explain, take all night to do it. So anyways, well, I got done with Rod, watching Rod's, well, 12 midnight, May 19th. Where's Kane? Where's Kane? Where's Kane? Where's Kane? You never end up, no, only good. Um, I just finished watching WWE Monday Night Raw. It was well-rounded, entertainment, great wrestling action, interesting storylines, and it. I love the fact that um. Uh, I love the fact that he kicked off with Randy Orton, uh, talking, you know, talking about why not Edge accepted the challenge. Edge came out and finally. After saying otherwise, and Orton's like fed up with Edge's speech, saying, oh, you say yes or no, and Edge goes yes. So the match is going to happen at Backlash three weeks. In three weeks, uh, it will be Randy Orton one-on-one with Edge in a straight-up wrestling match. It will be a very interesting uh, situation. And um, Aleister Black went one-on-one. Murphy, Murphy, um, Seth Rollins and Murphy came out. Rollins explained why he hurt Rey Mysterio, but then Humberto Carrillo was upset, and then he wanted to fight Rollins. But Rollins says, "You know something? I'm not right. I'm not prepared to dress for a fight." But uh, Murphy is though. So Murphy took on Humberto Carrillo. Murphy won the match, and then waited a while. And then uh, King Corman's whining and crying about how um, you know he's supposed to be treated like a king, and they'll be treating him like a king, and all that good stuff, and. Everything else, he's got a match against Drew McIntyre. So I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. So, our truth took, um, our <laughs> truth took on, I, I believe, um, Bobby Lashley. Or oh, did he, did he take on Bobby Lashley? I think our truth did take on Bobby Lashley again. And that, and our truth said, you know, he still thinks Tom Brady's the 24-7 champion. Our truth is a natural treasure. He's cracking up. He said, "I don't want to end up being in the in the in the Nelson from The Simpsons." Oh, I'm laughing so hard at it. It. Our truth is the funniest person ever, and I am dying of laughter. You know, I, I, I lost it when he said he gets on Tom Brady. That never ever gets old. Tom Brady and uh, it just I'm cra- I'm just cracking. I'm just dying of laughter, and it was. Oh man, it was hilarious, but but Bobby Lashley did pick up the victory, and MVP is trying to convince Lashley. When's the last time you had a championship? Is Lana holding you, holding you back, and all? And so, and it seems like Lana's a little frustrated and upset. Lana, this is a huge opportunity for your man here to capture a championship like the WWE title that I'm holding in my hand. A little bit more on that. Um, there was. There was an interesting Kevin. Uh, there was an interesting match between um, Shayna Baszler and Natalia in a submission match. Shayna Baszler won by submission. Natalia was so frustrated while the crew was getting set for the Kevin Owens show. Natalia just threw everything out, and Kevin Owens, in typical Kevin Owens fashion, comes out um, after the commercial break. He says, "About the Kevin Owens show," and uh, thanks Natalia for. Uh, Getting all the junk out of the ring. I think he kind of had a feeling that something, you know, who, who the guests are, um, things are going to go getting bowling shoe ugly real quick. So, kind of like Natalia just saved all the, tr- Kevin Owens all the trouble, to be honest with you. But then, and more, a little bit more on Natalia. I like, I'm going to talk about her YouTube channel uh, with her sister, Jenny. And, uh, um, check this out. Uh, Check this out. Uh, there was a dis- disagreement between Austin Theory, Andrade, and Angel Garza. Selena Vega fed up with all this. Said we're going to get stay together on this. So, anyways, so anyways, um, Kevin Owens is standing in the ring. Is you know they're they're jaw jacking back and forth. Kevin, Selena Vega and Kevin Owens going back and forth. He says, "I got another guest out there." And Apollo Cruz came back from his knee injury. Started going after Andrade. 
uh, Austin Theory and Angel Gunn trying to pull Andr- um, ah, Cruz off Andrade. Kevin Owens got involved and they had a tag team match. Kevin Owens and Andrade won because Austin Theory accidentally interfered. And then both Andrade and Angel Garza jumped Austin Theory. Selena's Vegas smacked him. Well, guess what? Austin Theory is out. So that leaves Andrade and Angel Garza. A little bit more on Austin Theory's situation. Another segment I liked was the Kabuki Warriors celebrating Asuka's Raw title victory. And, and Kari Singh did an excellent job with the introduction in English. She's learning. She says she likes to learn English. And learning a lot of English. You know, some, you know, some of the ladies from the ladies from Japan learning great English. It's totally awesome to see that. And, you know, and we don't mind if, we don't mind if we get some subtitles when they speak Japanese next time, you know. But they were very entertaining either way. Uh, and then Nia Jax comes out, and then all of a sudden, they they got Oscar. I mean, they got uh, Nia Jax out of the ring. The, the coolest part is Kari Sane playing the recorder flute. That was really cool. And then all of a sudden, um, Kari Sane's trying to practice it with a flute a little bit more. I think she was trying to learn how to practice playing it. And then all of a sudden, she got clobbered from by Nia Jax from behind. Trainer, Oscar tended to her. Oscar told her, I mean, Nia, um, Kyrie told Oscar, Naya did this, and Oscar went after Naya, kicked her in the side of the head. I wouldn't be surprised if that match happened at Backlash. Um, the Iconics challenged Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss for the tag team titles, but Peyton Royce snapped and went and tried to shoulder block Alexa Bliss. Um, throw the, Alexa Bliss' shoulder into the turnbuckle. Referee's telling her uh, to stop it, and he was not, she was not letting up, got her team disqualified. And then they had a little bit of an argument for the back, and Billy Kay slapped Peyton Royce across the face, and Billy Kay started crying, saying, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe it. And they were crying, and this is going to be very interesting on WWE's The Bump this Wednesday. Kayla, Braxton, going to warn you, you you're going to get grilled. I told her, prepare to get grilled, man. And, uh, <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, the main event with the matchup of the night was um, Drew McIntyre, who's currently the champion, against King Corbin over from SmackDown. Drew McIntyre picks up the win against Corbin, but then Bobby Lashley and MVP appeared on stage. And they were on stage. Bobby Lashley says, "I'll put you on notice. I want you, and I want the title." And I'll tell you one thing: Bobby, it's about time Bobby Lashley stood up and said, "Hey." I want to challenge you for the title. By the time he stepped up, somebody, we need some new rivalries. We need new challengers. And I think Bobby Lashley is perfect against Drew McIntyre. I like Drew as a champion. Bobby Lashley is hungry. He wants this championship that Drew has. And believe me, and, and believe me, um, Drew and, and Bobby Lashley, that will be a heck of a matchup. I mean, both superstars almost came out around the same time. And into the company around the same time, uh, came back uh, to the company almost around the same time as well. So this is going to be very interesting to say the least of what's going to happen in um, in this matchup for sure. And I wouldn't be surprised if this match happens at Backlash for the title. So, But next week also, um, Apollo Crews gets another sh- crack at the United States Heavyweight title. But let's go back to Austin Theory for just a second here. Speaking of Andrade, I'm being challenged by Apollo Crews. Check this out. During the match between Murphy and Alistair Black, um, Seth, Rollins, Seth Rollins noticed Austin Theory um, sitting down there, did not know what to do. Seth Rollins goes over to him, offers him a hand. He grabs the hand, helps him up, and then he decides to interfere in the match. Him and they, and then Murphy was helping out Theory, and then Seth Rollins looked at him, gave Theory a hug. It seems like Austin Theory went from one stable to another. It seems like the Monday Messiah, Steph Rollins, has got himself a new disciple or acolyte, so shall we say. So is this the new version of the Shield that we're, is this being formed? And, I mean, it'd be very interesting. Austin Theory and Murphy are two young, hot talents that are ready to go and ready to rumble and just ready to, for a championship and they're hungry. So if you think about it, Selena Vega made a humongous mistake by letting Austin Theory go into the hands of of Seth Rollins, this ought to be interesting to say the least. If they decide to interact, this is going to be something to behold. Um, 
I gotta tell you, I, I enjoy R Truth. R Truth, the funniest person ever. Funniest WWE superstar ever. The most entertaining person I have ever watched. Athlete in the ring. Kabuki Warrior, same thing. And the Iconics. I'm gonna go. My top five would be um, two tag teams of you know four la- of all four ladies. The Kabuki Warriors, and the Iconics for entertainment value and R Truth. Come on, Kabuki Warriors, and Iconics. In our troop, so hopefully they don't break up the iconics. But uh, yeah, they don't. Maybe maybe that slap by Billy Kane will motivate Peyton Royce to get better and do better, and probably harness and channel and ring her in. Or could, or could could it be another thing going? Because Seth Rollins could recruit some from ladies into his group, and who knows? And Natalia's having trouble getting wins. The iconics. Uh, who knows for sure what's going to happen? I don't know. You know anything can happen here. Um, because. Becky obviously is going to be on maternity leave, so it's going to be, uh, you know, something that Natalia needs to do is step up, and the Iconics, Iconics need to step up. We'll see what happens down the road, for sure. And going over the backlash, you got WWE, WWE's in your house in a couple, in coming in a couple of weeks, I believe, in June. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I got to admit. Um, also, uh, I got to talk about uh, uh, Natty, uh, Natalia, and Jenny's. Uh, YouTube channel, the Nighthearts. You got if you're a wrestling fan and you love, you know, people love people having fun outside the ring and all that. The Nighthearts um, YouTube channel got to give them a shout out. It's just for you. And I love the channel. I follow them. Uh, Natalia, an honor to have her follow me on Twitter alongside uh, along with uh, the Smith siblings, uh, uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr. and his sister Georgia. Honor, you know, they know I'm a big British Bulldog fan, a big fan of their dad growing up, and it was an honor. And I've always loved the Hart family. I always, I told Natalia the Hart family is my favorite wrestling family. But I got to say, Jenny Neidhart is hot. I, you know, I don't care what anybody else says. Jenny Neidhart is hot, gorgeous, and sexy. That's all I'm going to say about Jenny Neidhart. You know, more of Jenny Neidhart. And I'll tell you one thing right now. If we weren't practicing social distancing and I was in Florida and wanted to meet, I would want to go on a date with Jenny Neihart. That's all I'm going to say. She is gorgeous and hot and beautiful. Oh, my. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, my. I felt like Michael Cole or even George Takei. George oh, my. You know? <laughs> so, so check out that channel, though. They, they're a lot of entertainment. They teach us a lot of stuff, too, how to put on a structure, how to body slam somebody. On wrestling basics as well, plus having fun, and that's what they're 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 all about. So, uh, you know, check it out and tell them. That, you know, check it out, subscribe and like and share and all that. Um, another thing too that I'm looking forward to. I'm I think I want to I want to I want to start uh, switching channels between NXT and Ultimate Tag. Ultimate Tag is like you take two favorite things of the past: Game of Tag and American Gladiators, and combine them. That's what Ultimate Tag is all about. Hosted by the Watt brothers, uh, JJ and his other two two football playing brothers. This is going to be a very interesting. I want to watch it and want to see um, see what I want to go back and forth between NXT and Ultimate Tag. I wish I had two TVs that way, or a TV with a picture in picture. That way, I would have. Um, what if this TV has a picture in picture? I really don't know because I would have watched both. You know. Both Ultimate Tag and NXT, so that would be really cool to watch. Another um, show I'm looking forward to returning: Press Your Luck, second season, um, May 31st. That is two weeks from yesterday, so or a week from to um, a week from this coming Sunday. So I'm looking forward to it as well. I'm looking forward to returning to church. Um, church is going to be back up. So, but. I haven't gotten any information. I forgot to go into Zoom tonight. I'll probably go in tomorrow to see um, to see what my pastor has to say and how we're going to work this thing out. So it's going to be uh, something to uh, behold. So I'll see if I can get some information. And uh, look, kind of looking forward to it. And uh, I know it's going to be some guidelines that are going to be followed, need to be followed, and everything else. No big deal. I say we do it in the church. You know, we'll try to find a way to do it in the church parking lot and all that. You know, I'd rather... Uh, you know, how about this? Uh, I'll put a chair in the foyer and be socially distant from everybody, and just and just listen to the sermon and all that. 
I usually sit in the back anyways by myself. I try to be socially distant from everybody that way. I won't get in any, any trouble during the sermon. So that's another thing that I always do. And but I don't hate anybody in my church or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. It's it's not that way I can uh, be so, you know, listen and pay attention to the sermon. Pay attention to the Word of God. Pay attention to what my pastor has to say. Basically, so I can intake everything that I needed, absorb it like a sponge, and then apply it. That's the most important thing ever to me. So that's going to be really, really cool. Now, I like all this stuff, but, you know, none of this stuff compares to the glory of the Lord, in my in my personal opinion. So... So it'll be very interesting. You know, press your luck. I'm also looking forward to, like I said, I'm looking forward to press your luck. Big bucks, no whammies. Um, there's going to be a new Mortal Kombat 11 game. It's only like an upgrade, so to speak, the aftermath of the original Mortal Kombat. They're going to re- re- release that as well. I'm going to try to get it because they had three new fighters in there. and uh, So it'll be very interesting to to see what is going to happen there. And, uh, and, uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to what's going to happen. Um, WWE Championship. Uh, this is, now, a lot of you guys noticed is that now I did not buy this online. This was the WWE Championship. This was my last item that I bought at Toys R Us in Dartmouth before it closed down for good. And this was on sale at the time, too. So I ended up... Uh, I pulled a Ted DiBiase. I picked up a WWE Championship. I bought a WWE Championship for... It was 100 bucks actually. So it's going to be... A lot of fun there. Um, they did a little tribute to Becky Lynch, thanking her for her great um, era here in the WWE. Makes um, makes you smile to see that, and everybody was generally happy for Becky. Oscar was still happy for Becky, so it's just gonna be very interesting to see what the women's division is gonna be like now with Oscar as the Raw Women's Champion. Um, Charlotte Flair made an appearance, beat Ruby Riot. So will Liv Morgan and her get a few going? Will we? You no, know, Charlotte Flair's got a big humongous bullseye on her back now. You no, know, she's got Rhea Ripley. She's got Io Shirai breathing down her neck after um, Ray, uh, Charlotte Flair's uh, purposely getting disqualified. I think Io Shirai should deserve a shot at the title again. But, you know, Rhea Ripley wants to come back. Maybe there's going to be a feud between Rhea Ripley and Io Shirai. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. A lot of things can happen. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, Von Basky, you don't need to call no, you don't need to call me Reverend Lima. I am not a reverend, just to let you know. You know, I'm gonna comment on that right now. Uh, you know. And just uh let you know. Sorry about that, folks. Just um, yeah. I just I, when I when I when I when it comes to pertaining to religion and the Bible, no, I speak what's on my heart, and I try not to be Mr. Contender. Should you go to hell with a hair basket? Blah, 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 blah. No, thus say the Lord. You're gonna know. No, I just want to encourage, and I, I like to encourage people, and just you know, say, hey, listen, you know, God loves you no matter what, man. You know, it, he doesn't. It, he does. It doesn't matter to him. You know, you know. And sometimes, you know, God's like Roddy Roddy Piper, you know, just when you think you have all the answers, he changes the questions. And, uh, and, uh, you know, he's, you know, you know, I can't believe I'm comparing the Lord to a couple of professional wrestlers, you know. Um, God's like the rock. For him, it doesn't matter who you are, what your name is. All he matters is what you have in here. That's the very important thing, you know. God don't look at the outward appearance of a man, he looks at the heart of a man. That's why he chose David as king of Israel. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Let's say, let's say, I just say what's on my mind, what's on my heart, and I don't want to offend anybody, and I don't want to get, make anybody mad, you know. I just I just want to share, you know, what's on my heart. I stay away from politics as well, um, but no problem, you know, no problem there. You know, let, let, let the news, let the news act like it gets in report, so... <laughs> No, you know the reason why I like Von Baskin's comment because he agrees with me, and that's fine. I like it when he agrees with me, but he doesn't have to call me Reverend. I'm not worthy of that name. 
I'm not worthy of that name. Don't call me Reverend, you know. Don't call me Pastor. Don't call me, just call me Eric, you know what I'm saying, man? Call me E-Man, E-Dog, you, you know, all sorts of nicknames, but, you know, just don't call me any name that I'm not worthy with, worthy of, you know. <laughs> just, and I do appreciate you guys supporting him, liking my videos and commenting on him. That's awesome. That's great. Praise God. But don't, don't put me on a pedestal either. Um, <laughs> uh, also, um, a, one, uh, a couple of when I went on TikTok and a couple, some people commented, King, I'm not a king. And I appreciate, you know, you got, yes, king and yes, queen. They're like, I'm not any of those royalties, man. I just, I'm just a plain old, Plain old, uh, plain old dude from uh, New Bedford, Massachusetts. I mean, what do we do? Not you know, living the 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 hard hat life, so to speak. And you know, you know, I'm not middle class or high class. I'm not hoity-toity society guy. I'm just me, just me, just me. You know. So tonight's raw review, May 18th, 2020. Now it's May 19th. Watch out for Kane. Kane, I'm looking at you. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. oh also, uh, coming uh, coming out um, pretty soon. I think coming out on today's date, but later on, obviously, after I get some sleep. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog is coming out on DVD. I plan on getting it. So uh, I'm probably going to do some shopping and social distancing and all that good stuff and everything else. So uh, praise God. So um, we'll see what happens down the road. And, um, you know... Everything with, with everything going on right now, obviously, we're trying to get back to it. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if our Longhorn Steakhouse is going to get built because, unfortunately, um, this whole pandemic situation may have put them all behind on that. And who knows, who knows when that restaurant is going to open up. And um, I can safely say... That with J.C. Penny closing, we don't know if we're going to lose our diamond store. We probably will, but you know, because we're going to probably lose a lot of stores in the mall. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if our mall is going to recover from this situation uh, economically. So it's going to be something. We've already basically lost the gallery of mall. So that's something that to think about. And if if I if uh, if I get if my hunch is right, I'm probably going to look for another job, which won't be easy. I don't. Uh, I'm, you know, or I can stay unemployed because I get paid more unemployed than anything else, dude. So, so praise God there. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah, so a lot to think about, basically. A lot to think about. Um, what's going to happen at the end here? Oh, boy. Uh, what's going to So, we'll see what happens uh, while as we uh, start each phase of reopening. So, We'll see to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Raw review. We got NXT coming up, and we got, that's why I said I want to go between NXT and Ultimate Tag. I want to see how Ultimate Tag is, and who is, uh, who's there, and whatnot. I'll probably, hopefully, they do replays. Hopefully, Ult Ultimate Fox has put up the Ultimate Tag YouTube channel, because I want to check it out. Um, and then you got to press your luck on Sundays, so I'll be able to watch that as well. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to um, get off here right now. Uh, it's almost 12.30 in the morning. And um, I will be um, coming at you with 600, episode 620 pretty soon. And I'll probably think about more Get These Thumbs episodes to see what's going on, who's playing, uh, what game I want to play, and everything else. And figure it out for the Switch, figure it out for the... Um, um, figure out for everything else in between. Um, it's it's going to be tough to figure out. So, hope you like your, uh, hope you like your, you know, hope like the raw review I just put up. Anything I missed, let me know. And uh, and don't go like I like people thinking outside the box, but don't go way off the box. Just keep in base, keep in line with the storylines and everything else. Vaughn, I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, just keep it, you know, keep it within the storyline to see, if, you know, you know. Sometimes, you know, things as a way to puzzles put together and all that. It's weird. With anything happened in WWE, I know, but you know, don't go way off basis 
go within the lines here. Like I say, Lashley, McIntyre, I'm looking forward to that matchup. That will be a heck of a matchup, and I'm sure it's going to happen at Backlash, like Edge Norton's going to be. Will we see Nia Jax and Oscar go at it at Backlash as well? Will we see the iconic sketch another shot at those belts? We'll find out for sure. All right, then. Episode 619 has been complete. Raw review of May 18th. I'm just me. All right. See you later. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Remember the 19th. Um, watch out for Kane. And, you know, keep following protocol. And be patient. All right. Things are going to get better. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.